Is the other Randy at Sunnyvale having a cheeseburger picnic? Canada's ethics commissioner says he is looking into the business dealings of Liberal cabinet minister Randy Boissonneau. What's the other Randy's last name? I do not know the name of that person, as I stated in my opening statements. Will the real Randy please stand up? Stand up! I do not know that person in question. That person is not me. Uh, Mr. Boissonneau, and before I go to Mr. Barrett, I'm just going to remind you, sir, that you are here today because of a motion that was passed by this committee, uh, a majority of members on this committee. Mr. Barrett, you have six minutes. Go ahead. Minister, uh, there's fraud and another Randy in a partner call at your company. What's the other Randy's last name? So, Mr. Barrett, I do not know the name of that person, as I stated in my opening statements. And uh, before a committee, I have no relationship, no operational uh, role with GHI. I do so, not know that person in question. That person is not me. What's your percentage stake in the company? As has been disclosed in my, dis as, in my disclosure to the Commission of Ethics, it is 50% stake in GHI that is held in my holding company. Who are the partners of the company? I do not know. It is Mr. Anderson, to my degree, to my knowledge, is the only administrator of that company. So I, have no, I have no connection other than holding the shares to that company, Mr. Barrett. Holding half of the shares. Half of the shares are in my numbered company as disclosed to the do, Commissioner of Ethics. Do you know who holds the balance of the shares? Uh, when I was involved, the last time I looked, it was Mr. Anderson. So it's your understanding that you and... Randy Boissano and Mr. Anderson are 50-50 partners in the company. That is not correct. The Edmonton Center MP owns a 50% stake in GHI. The minister is the owner of a number company that holds a 50% share in global health imports. It is 50% stake in GHI that is held in my holding company. That he owns 50% stake in through a numbered company in Alberta. The shares are held by 2256956 Alberta Limited. Who owns that number I company? Do. Cute. It's not this, cute, Mr. A, Barrett. The question is... about, there's a question about this other Randy that's been reported. I know the, the contention, sir, is that um, you'd like for this to be uh, something that the opposition has created, uh, but this is reported in the media. And uh, the media has, um, has uncovered a number of things, including um, text message exchanges with someone um, who's uh, named by one of your partners uh, as a partner. And there are text messages referring to someone named Randy at the company that, well, Randy owns. Global News reported text messages from the minister's former business partner, Stephen Anderson, that show a mysterious Randy directing business operations in September of 2022. New text messages obtained by Global News raises questions about the minister's potential involvement in a business deal a year after he was elected. Malvina Gowie, owner of the Gowie Group, a PPE company, received texts from Anderson pushing for a deposit on a purchase. Anderson forwards her a text from a person he calls Randy, asking why it hasn't been sent yet and to be available in 15 for a partner call. 30 minutes later, Gowie got another message from Anderson saying he has spoken to Randy. The text messages reveal that someone named Randy at the minister's company was part of a $500,000 fraud. So will the employment minister finally get up on his feet and tell everyone the super secret identity of the other Randy? Global News revealed text messages that show a Randy involved in a $500,000 fraud case. And they refer to Randy and no last name of that Randy is available. The only Randy we know that's involved with the company um, is a minister in the Trudeau government. The other Randy. Wow. Now the minister has claimed that he has no knowledge of the identity of this other Randy. And we're still waiting for the Minister of Employment to introduce us to other Randy. Uh, Will the real Randy please stand up? Stand up! The other Randy might be right here. Why won't the minister tell us who this other Randy is, what's his last name, and is he in this room at this very moment? So will the employment minister from Edmonton let us know if Randy is in the room? Is the other Randy at Sunnyvale having a cheeseburger picnic? Who were the partners in that company in 2022? I do not have that information, Mr. Baird, but let me correct the record, Mr. Chair. To your question, I'll go through you, Mr. Chair. Um, I am not the person in those texts. Mr. Anderson confirmed that it's not me. 
And I have a quote from the article that you're talking about, Mr. Barrett, which is from the Gowie Group, which says, we have had no direct communication with Mr. Boston now at any point in our dealings with Stephen and the companies, because I have had no active role in GHI since I was elected in 2021. Okay. You said publicly you didn't have anything to do with Stephen Anderson's business deals on behalf of your PPE uh, company, Global Health Imports. Is that right? I have had no active role in GHI since I was elected. And related, Mr. Barrett, you said yourself in your question this morning, Mr. Chair, may I deals, answer? Chair, um, I gave, I gave, hang on a sec. So we'll, let's stop the clock. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask Mr. Barrett to continue. He has another question. Minister, uh, but prepare chair, for an on, answer. Uh, but Go ahead. On, on the, the way the meeting is going to run, I gave Mr. Boissonneau more than twice the amount of time to respond to both of my previous questions than I spent in asking the questions. So if I have a short question and Mr. Bo the, the minister uh, wants to run the clock, that's obviously uh, not going to demonstrate uh, fairness in, and I, in the I think I made uh, I think that I made that pretty clear at the top of the meeting, uh, Mr. Barrett, that the expectation, my expectation today is that as members ask questions, the e an equal amount of time is going to be given for those responses, Minister, and I ask that uh, all members respect that. I'm not going to be the timekeeper here, uh, other than the six minutes, but if I see that a member is going, uh, going a little bit off in terms of time, then I will intervene. Mr. Barrett, How much time? Uh, you've got three minutes and 16 seconds. Go ahead. Related to deals with the Gowie Group, you didn't have anything to do with the alleged wire fraud? Mr. Barrett, I have been very clear that I've had no operational dealings with GHI since I was elected. And you, sir, indicated off the start that the Randy in the article was not me. So that company alleges that you were involved. Are they telling the truth? That company is not, um, they're not correct because I've had no correspondence from them. And okay. Mr. Anderson indicates very clearly in this morning's article that that Randy is not me. So we have text messages, text messages implicating you, sir, in this wire fraud, and it was carried out by your business partner to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. And one of them reads, and I quote, what is going on? I just received this from Randy. It's 1314 MST and 1514 EST. It literally takes 10 seconds to complete a transfer. I'm telling you, we are not allocating like this. Please reach out and see what the reason is now. You assured me this was done this morning, first thing, and allowed you to hold this stock today. It's midday and nothing is completed. I'm calling Felix to discuss, be available for a partner call in 15 minutes, end quote. Sir, it seems like you're trying to conceal your involvement in a matter of fraud. Why? Michael, Mr. Mr. Chair, that is completely beyond the pale. It's completely false and it's not true. The article states very clearly that the Gowie Group had no contact with me, which is true, and Mr. Anderson indicated that this is, an, this is a different Randy. Mr. Barrett, your first name is Michael. Mr. Cooper's first name is Michael. Are we to confuse your two identities here at committee when you ask questions of me that are spurious in nature? Well, there are, I look there's forward, more than one Mr. Randy Chair, here. I look no forward, Mr. Chair, Mr. to Mr. Chair, Boissano being in opposition my answer. and having the opportunity to have the opportunity He asked a very long question. I have more And I realize that, Minister. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Go ahead. Mr. So there Mr. Are other, Chair, there the are other, I have time on the clock to answer that question. There are other texts as well that outline how quickly you wanted this wire transfer to go through. Mr. Barrett, and that is not me, and you cannot, the put, question, you cannot state that for the record. Can we, uh, not true, we, Mr. Chair? We, just that hang is on not a true, sec. Mr. Chair. I'm, I'm going to – look, I, I thought I made my expectation very clear at the beginning that uh, questions will be asked and time will be given to respond to that. I am going to Mr. Barrett. Mr. Barrett, Minister, please don't inter intervene. I'm going to ask the same of the questioners as well. Mr. Barrett, go ahead. You've got a minute and 12 seconds, sir. Like the lack of respect for a procedure at committee, we've seen the same lack of adherence to ethics rules. The minister talked about Canada's stringent ethics rules. His uh, government, of course, including Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, has twice been found guilty of breaking those laws. And that's why we have questions about alleged law breaking um, by, uh, by our witness, by the minister. The company has been trying to get the money back, the company that was defrauded of $500,000 from your business. Where did the money Mr. from the Mr. Chair? Chair. It is a chair. Point of I, order, Chair. He is not stating facts, and he, I cannot let falsehoods go, Mr. Chair. But he didn't finish his question. You're going to have ample opportunity to. Thirty answer. seconds was the length of my question. I know you're protecting his and clips, I, Mr. No, chair, no, but I'm he not is actually, stating falsehoods. I'm not actually. I'm not actually, Mr. Boss at all. I'm so actually, we have a corrupt minister from a corrupt that's government. That's not true. That's oh, that is simply beyond the pale, Mr. Mr. Chair. That is outrageous behavior by that member. Mr. Barrett, do I have my my time? I've asked for two points of order. I'm going to go on your point of order. Go ahead, Mr. Brock. I have never in my almost three years of, of public service 
seeing such disrespect point of order. by a minister point of order. for the procedures point of here order. at committee. He's constantly talking okay. over the witness, and now he's I've, talking over the chair. I've got, I've point got point of order. conduct unbecoming. I've point got your order. point of order, Mr. Brock. Uh, I appreciate that. Mr. Barrett, you were at 34 point. seconds in your intervention. So I'm going to ask you to ask your question. And point of order. Any, sorry, go ahead, uh, Mr. House Father. Mr. Chair, referring to someone as corrupt is unparliamentary. I would ask that you order it be withdrawn. Sorry, ask that I order it what? I would ask that you ask Mr. Barrett to withdraw those comments. That is unparliamentary to refer to someone as corrupt. Yeah, Mr. Barrett, I am going to ask uh, that you withdraw those, those comments, please. Alleged corruption by a corrupt government. Okay, thank you, Mr. Barrett. You, that you have withdrawal. had. That was not a withdrawal, Mr. Chair. That was a doubling down. We got a. Uh, we've got a point of order for Mr. Vilmier. Go ahead, Mr. Vilmier. Allez, s'il vous plaît. I don't want this to descend into a point where you know everybody's talking over each other. Um, and I, I'm going to enforce that from this. Uh, well, I've been enforcing it, but I'm going to enforce it from this point forward. It's just it means that we're going to be wasting our time here and, and uh, not being able to ask the questions that we want. Mr. Barrett, you've had 34 seconds. Uh, do you have a question for Mr. Boissonneau? Because I want to give him an equal amount of time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Through you, Chair, we'll give the Minister an opportunity for uh, transparency for a first. Minister, will you provide this committee a copy of the letter notifying in writing that you wanted to be removed as a director from this company? And further, will you provide any financial records related to, to this company? Um, will you provide them to the committee? Mr. Chair, there is a well-established practice done by the Ethics Commissioner that every single member around this table has to go through. The standards are higher for parliamentary secretaries and ministers. I have followed that process to the letter. All of those documents were provided to the Commissioner of Ethics. And Mr. Chair, the Ethics Commissioner sent me and Mr. Barrett a letter indicating that there was no need. He took the decision that there's no need to look into my business affairs, no need to evaluate them. I have followed the letter to the rule. The rule Thank to the letter. You. Thank you, Mr. Boissonneau. Uh, I just have a point of order. Mr. Cooper has just called me disgusting, and I would ask that he please remove that uh, from, from. I mean, it's not appropriate. I, I'm sorry. I was dealing point, with other issues. Point, point of order. I, I, well. I, didn't point of order. I didn't hear it, Ms. Damoff. He's done it I'm twice, sorry. Chair. Okay. Point of well, order, I didn't Mr. Hear chair. It, so those I, live, I apologize. Mr. Chair, those, those who live Mr. in glass houses should be very okay. careful That's about throwing stones. That's not a point stones. of order, Mr. Yeah, it is, Thank because Ms. Damoff used the very same language towards my colleague, Mr. Cooper. I heard it very clearly on more than one occasion, Chair. Right. So the Chair did not hear it, because I was obviously busy dealing with some other issues. Uh, so I'm going to ask Ms. Damoff that you continue for uh, six minutes. Go ahead, please. Not taking into account many of the interruptions that we've had. Mr. Brock, I'm going to give you three minutes. Go ahead, sir. Thank you, Chair. Um, with, with respect, Minister, I, I share MP Green's uh, uh, latter comments that your testimony has not been helpful. In, in fact, not only have you been disrespectful, you um, are exhibiting traits in my old career that I would classify as a lying witness. You've been evasive. That's not appropriate, Mr. Chair. Well, it is. That is not a, that's not parliamentary language. I would, uh, I would suggest, Mr. Brock, that you not use that language. Uh, You've got the inability to tell the straight facts and to tell the straight goods, uh, Minister. There, there lacks the ring of truth in what you have to say. Go ahead on your point of order, Mr. Point of order, Mr. Brock's language is definitely unparliamentary. He, he needs to withdraw it, and he needs to apologize. No. I'm not withdrawing, Chair. No, he, uh, Mr., he, he used a different context. I'm going to allow him to do it. I'm going to ask him to continue. You've got a couple minutes, Mr. Brock. Go ahead. Sorry, Mr. on the same point of order. Go I've, ahead, Ms. Damoff, on the same point of order. I've heard in the House many times the Speaker mm -hmm. say that you can't say indirectly what you... Or you yeah, you, that you can't say directly, and that is exactly what Mr. Brock has did and has done. And we cannot call each other so, liars or providing untruths to Parliament. I appreciate that. I think Mr. Brock uh, understands your point of order. I'm going to ask him to continue for the next couple of minutes. Go ahead. And, and Canadians are watching. They they take particular attention every time a minister appears at committee. And and what you've done, sir, is just displayed a complete lack of respect for policies and procedures at this committee, leaving aside the evasiveness of your responses and clearly the lack of ring of truth, as I've indicated. So on the issue of what was 
uh, reported this morning in the global, global News. Did you take it upon yourself to reach out to your former partner and ask for clarification as to who this other Randy was? Um, so, Mr. Brock, on that particular point, yes I have no, no operational did you reach? Role. I've got three minutes. I have seconds to sir, respond to I your... Sir, I've Mr. got Chair, three I minutes. Point of order, Mr. Uh, Mr. The, Brock, just uh, allow the Minister to respond to the question. I know that we're on short timelines here, but please allow Mr. Boissonneau to uh, respond to that. Go ahead. Mr. Chair, point. I have no operational role in that company. I am not the Randy in the article today. And let me give you an example, Mr. Chair. I don't know why Mr. Brock received income from the province of Ontario while he's been serving as an MP, but I assume that he cleared that with the Ethics Commissioner in the same way that I, cl Boston, I cleared my business dealings with the Ethics Mr. Commissioner and no investigation Thank or you. evaluation Mr. of my Brock, business affairs. Mr. Mr. Brock, go ahead. Go point ahead. Of, just a point of order, Mr. Chair. The question that Mr. Brock asked was well over a minute. And the response was no, 25 the, minutes. There was I think a preamble. He concluded. There was a question. <laughs> yes, sir. No. So I'll ask again, Minister. Go ahead, Mr. Brock, you're yes. laughing at the whole process, no, uh, but I'm, Canadians are not laughing at no, you, sure. and they're not siding with you. Did you reach out to Mr. Anderson this morning after you read the Global News report? Yes or no? I am not the Randy in that report. Did you the call Mr. Say, Anderson? No, why would I call Mr. Anderson? I was not ready to point so that out. Clearly, Mr. Anderson didn't want to provide Brock, the surrogate. Mr. Brock, the, Mr. Ethics, Brock, the Mr. answer, Mr. The, he I said gave no. the answer. He said no. Um, <laughs> Chair, I've, Are you I've, at a point of order? Yes, I am, Chair. I, out of respect for our interpreters, and this keeps happening, people are interrupting. I agree. And it's it's so unfair to okay. the people that work so hard for us. Thank so you. if you could please I, yeah. just knock it and off. I've, I've, made that, I've made that very clear. Go ahead, Mr. So Brock. Randy, You've got uh, so like literally 20 seconds, sir. Minister, will you provide to this committee details of your text messages for all the phones that were in operation on September the 22nd, 2022, so that this committee can determine if you are in fact the Randy that the text messages are referring to, the Randy that the other partner wants to communicate with. Will you reach out to your service provider and provide us with details okay. of your text messages on that day for all your devices. Minister, yes quick, no? quick response, Minister, Mr. please. Mr. Chair, I have nothing, I have no operational role in this company. I do not know who this Randy is. It is not me, and it's clear in the article okay. that it's not me. Thank you, sir, uh, in order to move along. Mr. Cooper, you have five minutes. Go ahead, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Minister Boisno, you held the title of partner at GHI before you were elected, correct? I recall, I actually can't remember that, but uh, partner was the title that I used while okay. I was operating the company. Th thank you. Mr. Cooper. Thank you for confirming that. And uh, just, at, at GHI is not exactly a ma big, big operation. Uh, there was you, there was Anderson, and there were a few employees, correct? Correct. And so I pose to you, for you, Mr. Chair, then who was the other Randy? I do not know who the other Randy was. They were somebody hired Thank after you. You I say was... You, you but I do not know no, who that person is, Mr. Four Chair. seconds, four seconds. Mr. Sure. Cooper, go ahead. You, you have a 50% stake in the company. There's only a handful of people there, and you presently have a 50% stake in GHI. And you mean to tell me that you have no idea out of a handful of people, if not you, who the other Randy is. Are you serious? 20 seconds. Go ahead, Minister. I have had no operational involvement in this company since I was elected. The company has hired and probably let go people since I was there. I am not allowed to know about the operation of this company, Mr. Cooper, because it is not permitted by the Minister, Ethics Commissioner, Minister, and so I followed you, all the rules. Thank you for that. Uh, Minister, that is nonsense, and you know it, but I'm going to It's not to nonsense, Mr. Mr. I, Mr. Chair. Mr. That, is Mr. Not, that is not a fair statement. It's not nonsense. It is Let the him truth. finish, please, Sir. Mr. Boissonneau. Go ahead, Mr. Cooper. Mr. Your answer simply doesn't add up, but it, 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 there's more to it than that, because if, if it's some other Randy, then why did the Gowey group believe that the Randy referenced in the text messages was you? Why? 15 seconds, Minister. Mr. Chair, 
it would be inappropriate for me to have anything to do with operational matters. I stepped away from the company in the fall of 2022. Of course, I don't know who the employees are. And in why, the article today, it, it says it that I am not doesn't that up. Randy. Doesn't, doesn't. He's got three seconds. Go ahead, Minister. I am not the Randy in this article, Mr. Chair. Go ahead, Mr. Cooper. Doesn't, doesn't add up, Minister. And uh, if it's not you... How is it that Global News couldn't verify who Verandi was? Uh, Anderson said it was there was some of Verandi in charge of logistics, but uh, when Global News looked into it, they found that the guy who held himself out as responsible for logistics is one Edward Anderson, not a Randy. M Mr. Cooper, I have no operational relationship to that company, and so the matters of staff are not in my purview. And let me state again for the record, from this morning's article, from the Gowie Group, we have had no direct communication with Mr. Boissonneau at any point in our dealings with Stephen and the companies, and Mr. Anderson has said that that Randy is not me, and I have not received any communication Mr. from Mr. Cooper, through, go ahead. This group. Through you, Mr. Chair, Minister, in looking at the text message from Randy, to Anderson, it states it's 1514 Eastern Standard Time. This is a text to someone who is in Alberta in a text message about a client in California. What is the what is 1514 Eastern Time? Well, it happens to be the time zone of Ottawa. Just another coincidence, Randy? <laughs> I mean, I have no idea because I did not receive those texts and I have no operational relationship to this company. Be, be and available it's for a time Mr. zone Mr. Cooper, just let him a text. respond, please. It's a time zone and a text that I have nothing to do with. Well, Mr. Anderson never, has said that's not it's an me. Upper, it's an Mr. Upper Gowie, piece. Mr. It's Chair, Mr. Cooper, Mr. Chair, I am not being interrupted. Mr. Cooper, just, he's got uh, like eight seconds. Let him respond, please. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, Thank Boston, you, Mr. Chair. You I am question. not the Randy in question. Mr. Anderson has indicated that I'm not the Randy in question, and the Gowie group Mr. has said they've had Mr. no communication Cooper, with Mr. Cooper, go me. ahead. And uh, so not only, you know, Eastern Time, Ottawa, uh, also be available in 15 for a partner call. You said you had previously been a partner. Just another coincidence? Just another Randy? The operational word in your statement, Mr. Cooper, is previously. I ceased to be uh, an officer and a director of GHI in October of 2021, full stop. Mr. Cooper, you got 25 seconds. Minister, the Gowie Group thinks it's you. Global News can't track down who the other Randy is. The, the Randy who's texting happens to be referencing Eastern Time. You happen to be uh, a member of Parliament serving a lot of your time in Ottawa. You said you were a partner. The text message references a partner. This is a small operation. You have a 50% stake in the fact that you can't identify who the other Randy is doesn't pass the smell test. Thank and you. if there isn't another Thank Randy, you, then you, sir, <laughs> broke the law. Mr. Thank Cooper. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. Oh. May I That's respond, the, Mr. Chair? It's the end of the time. You can respond in, in the next round. Mr. Sure. Fisher, go ahead. Five <sighs> minutes. Go ahead. Can I...